Okay, so um, we are doing back to the acid test. This is part two here, where we're gonna pull out the eggs and see the results. So here you see in front of you, I have all the eggs pulled out. I'm gonna zoom in on them and then I'm gonna kinda of touch them so you can kinda of see what's going on here. So this is the egg in orange juice. Now this is mostly discolored, but as I rub on it, you can see how it's kinda of peeling off the top layer of that eggshell right it doesn't feel quite as hard it's not soft or anything but it doesn't feel quite as hard as it did when i put it in there now the water didn't do anything right egg just feels wet doesn't feel like it affected it much at all and then lastly we have the vinegar egg now you can see where the vinegar egg has completely worn away the shell and look when i push on it can you see that? Do you see it bending? It's actually flexible. Um, it's losing the, um, the solidity and it's, you can keep seeing as I keep pushing on it, how I can bend it. Do you see that? Um, so that's kind of what happened in the vinegar. So think about how that might affect um, the coral reefs, which is kind of what this paper is talking about. All right. All right, so the last step is going to ask us to do a pH reading of each of these liquids because we were supposed to predict which one would have the highest pH um, and how that might affect things. So right now, we're going to do that test. All right, so I'm going to drop it into the orange juice here, pull it out. We're going to compare it to um, our pH scale here. I'm trying to hold my phone and do the testing, so I'm waiting for an assistant. Here we go. All right. So if I compare it, it looks to me like a pH of 6. Okay? Not quite as low as I might have expected for orange juice. I don't know what you predicted, but let's try the water now. All right. So we've got water. Water comes out. Water is a 7. We know that 7 is a neutral pH, which makes sense for water. And then lastly, we want to test our vinegar. All right, and we can see that our vinegar has a very low pH. It's at a 1. It matches up with the 1. All right. I think so. Um, so you can mark that on your sheet. We had a, um, a 1 for the vinegar a seven for the water, and a six for the orange juice. And uh, answer that there, a uh, number four, if your predictions were correct. Um, and then answer the rest of the questions for the acid test. All right, um, thanks. Uh, and I hope you did. I hope you did try this at home. If you have these ingredients, just to be able to see that vinegar egg, it's really cool. Um, all right, talk to you later, guys. Bye.